ready? Are you ready? We're going live in three, two, one. Action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Correct Me If I'm Wrong. I'm here with myself, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> no, I'm here. My name is Patrick, in case you guys haven't known that by our 227th episode. Right to my right, I have Mr. I Just Got Back From The Gym, D. Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Swole. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, and I got Mr. Mesa Lou. Yo, 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 what's up? Miss Nay. Woo. And coming back, one of the OGs, Mr. Jesus in the hizzy. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> this is where we put in the noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that's so all we got. So it's been a while. It's been a while. How you been? How you been, bud? I, yeah, here recently, <laughs> kind of tough, but <laughs> but it's been good. <laughs> that's pretty dope. That's good. You know why we ask? Why? Because it's polite to ask. Oh. Mm. So that brings us to our first topic. <laughs> Ooh. Is politing a lobbleness. In or in other words, manners. So the other day, right? I work from home, for those of you guys who know it. <clears throat> and uh, all I do really is, is calls, so I'm on the phone all the time. And uh, anyways, I was talking to this lady, and she says she was from Kansas. And uh, I go through the whole entire... Um, you know, process with her, and we get to the very end, and you know, I'm yes ma'am, no ma'am, so on and so forth, and at the very end, she goes, where are you from? And I was like, oh, I'm from Texas, and she was like, oh, you know what, I figured you were probably somewhere south, because you said yes ma'am, no ma'am the whole entire time, and she goes, where I'm from, you go to a store or something like that, you're not going to get that from anybody, and I was like, oh man, that's, that's crazy, right, so it's crazy to kind of like think that, and we kind of talked about one time when we went on a trip to Cleveland, and mm-hmm. how like the atmosphere was just mm-hmm. so much different because people really weren't being rude, but they weren't being quote unquote like the at- extra politeness. Right. So do you guys think that like these manners, this like going the extra mile is kind of fading away? It's becoming more of an optional, I'm at work, so I have to do it type of deal rather than you just kind of do it on a normal basis. Oh, we'll start with Devon because he's looking like <laughs> a <laughs> Oh, darn it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do I think it's going the extra mile? I think if you're at work, you you kind of need to be polite because I feel like if you're being polite, you're in you're having manners, you're showing, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I, I lost my train of thought. Okay, well, what about, what about okay, if you're bad. if you're just out and about? You're just being you. You're not you're not at work. You're you're being you yourself. You're Devon out and about. And, and are you saying yes sir, no sir, or are you doing things that are quote unquote like? Uh, manners on a regular basis, not when you're at work, but just you being you. Oh yeah, definitely. If I don't, if I don't know the person, and they ask me a question, like, like, excuse me, say yes, sir. How, like, how you doing? I just call. Oh, British, yes, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> 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 no, but you know, you know, I, I open the door sometimes. So, like, if someone's coming like near me, I'm near the door. I open the door. I say, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. When someone's talking to me, I don't. If I don't know them personally, you know, it's just, it's just trying to be polite, trying to just show manners. So I don't think it's really going the extra mile. I think there's certain things that I do that without instinct, like like uh, holding doors open, like if I go to a convenience store or something like that, uh, I do find it, but just uh, by habit, uh, holding doors open for people. Um, but the yes ma'am and no ma'am, yes sir, no sir, normally it's only for people that are older than me. <laughs> um, it's very rare that I find myself saying yes ma'am or no ma'am to someone that looks roughly the same age as me. and it's not which like, is old which is crazy <laughs> it's he not, has this huge beard with gray hairs already in it so it's super crazy he says that i'm 76 so. people are gonna picture him that way uh-huh i mean I, what do you mean that's what i look like <laughs> um and like it, and it's just a habit like i don't i don't really think about it I, it's not it's not something that i purposely do it's just something that just comes at at, at habit really so that explains why like you say like at work when you have to be at work they're just not as receptive Correct. Mm-hmm. You, you're yeah, younger. and like I don't get a lot of yes sir, no sirs when I'm at work from like <laughs> other like you know customers that come in. Oh, okay. Rather mm-hmm. than I hear it's people that are older, they'll get yes sirs and no sirs yeah. back to them. And that it's weird because, like, yeah, I do, I do give it, you know, uh, but it's not me trying to. I guess it's just what we've always done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is that if someone says yes sir, no sir to me, I'm like it, ca- it catches me off guard. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, what the heck? Like, yeah, that that is crazy. I've, I've noticed that before that someone responds to me that way and I'm like, 
huh? Like, what the <laughs> heck? You know, that is weird. It's funny. It reminds me, I got two things here. It reminds me, I was in high school and I barely gotten uh, into high school, right? I was a freshman and I think we were doing summer band. So it was like my first time to be amongst the, you know, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And we had a, a girl, a drum major. She was one of the girls. And uh, she came up to me. She told me something. I remember when she told me. And I said, yes, ma'am. And I remember her looking at me like, I'm like... 17 years old like, <laughs> call me, leave me, ma'am. but like that's how much it stems back for me and it's funny that you say that you don't really say it as much as as far as not a yeah. formal setting because I, I told nay before we get here i was like watch mace is gonna say he says all the time and i'm gonna call him out <laughs> <laughs> yeah no and at work i do yeah, yeah. Work and i've worked with you yeah. so i know yeah yeah i know yeah. for sure you do i say it a lot like and I, i'll be like through the drive through and i'm like saying yes ma'am no ma'am yes i don't even know mm. who's on the other side yeah yeah uh there's one thing that i hardly ever do is go to shake someone's hand like when i'm meeting them for the first time i always do (laughs) (laughs) i hardly and i probably hardly ever will now it's like a very optional thing like for uh, me to walk up to a stranger me hold my hand out to like shake their hand i'm not gonna swat your hand away when you hand it but i definitely go for handshakes like and and a lot of times like like you said the regular day um holding the doors open and shaking hands or something that i'd always do even outside of work do you still do it now i you know what's funny is um customers still attempt to and we just mm-hmm. can't because like that's a policy at work and right. I, I feel really awkward being like hey i can't shake your hand but like <laughs> i i've shaken people's hands outside and like I'm, and i immediately have that like oh my god i gotta wash my hands right because of like mm-hmm. what's going on but right. like if, if if this wasn't going on like it wouldn't be a big deal for me and i don't think going forward we've had this conversation i don't think handshakes are going away um that's something that i'm still gonna do you know once that things get kind of so awkward they put their hand out and you're like i'm sorry yeah you bet uh-huh. like we have this thing where, like, you do an elbow. Oh, right? You're like, okay. oh, uh, and they're like, oh, what, I got you. Just the, see what they do in what? Yeah. Japan, or in Japan, they're like, just bow. I just bow. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. Is there, like, a specific, do you think it, it revolves around a specific generation that goes to handshakes? Or are you seeing it with everybody that comes in? Like, do most people that come in and go to shake your hand, are they an older generation? Is it kind of everybody, or? Yeah, it's kind of everybody, actually, surprisingly. I thought it was going to be a little lot of the older generation. It's not. Um, I had a guy that was roughly about my age. We helped him load a uh, um, a bedroom set for him, and he he drove from El Paso, so like he sh- went to shake my hand, and I was like, and like the guy in front of me shook his hand, so I couldn't like mm. not do oh, it. So right. yeah, I was like, oh, so I like, shook his hand, like, and I immediately ran to the sales floor. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and the other guy's like, what's wrong with you? I was like, we shook his hand. And he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. And I was like, what do you mean you forgot? I feel like shaking hands is more of a. Like, if you're wanting to earn someone's respect, in a way. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's a very, like, see eye to eye. And, Absolutely. Like, you know. Like, when I when I, when I see a handshake, I, I imagine, like, like two businessmen, like, hey, how you yeah. doing? How you doing? My name is, you know. Yeah. You even do the elbow grab? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you grab, grab the elbow. That's you're crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I I've done that <laughs> once. I've done that once with someone, because I saw it on, in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. You and, assert dominance. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or do you like the turnover? Oh yeah. <laughs> or I hate when you get cut off when people grab your fingers. Like in the oh like, yeah, like, like the little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Uh, you just bow basically, especially <laughs> when it's like a combination because you know you have those guys that just want to like the super Crush. hard grip. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But then they they do it a little too early, so then they only get your fingers <laughs> yes. and they super hard grip. It's like all your fingers are breaking. You're like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah. the worst. I feel like yeah. when someone does that to me, it's just like thank you. Uh, I feel like when someone does that to me, I feel like I like I lost the respect. So like oh puny human they crush my finger <laughs> yep. so it's like I gotta do I gotta go for it again like I gotta fight away the headshake yeah I try that one more time <laughs> yeah so uh, what what about this one right do you how often do you think you say please and thank you I feel like all the time yeah I say it pretty often I feel like I say thank you a lot I feel like I hardly ever say please um I feel like I say please pretty often it, like, I'm trying to think how often I was like hey can you please hand me that do I say that <laughs> I don't I don't do it that way yeah I do, I don't. But it, okay. I guess it just depends on the situation. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Yeah. You know, now thinking about right? it, the, the like, please, please thing please is... Please a, I mean, I, maybe every now and then, but it's definitely not something that comes out. Like, thank you uh, comes out pretty naturally. Like, right. you please hardly ever napkin? comes out. Can you hand me that Yeah, napkin? I would probably say, hey, can you hand me that napkin? Can I don't know you? if I could say, hey, can you hand can me that napkin, please? please? I don't think the word but please I, But I feel like the you're replacing please by the way you say it. Correct. Uh-huh. I agree there. All right, so... Yeah, the tone, yeah. for sure. Like, if you're like, please. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wait, hold on. <laughs> you're combining you all sorts of matters, okay, dude. Okay, okay. Or the extra, I was going to say, if the you extra, sing it, extra mile. you don't need the please if you say it. It's like, man, he really wants it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, this comes from, because I saw an article, right, um, written, written, 
written? Do they write articles? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I saw an article um, f- from Britain, and they interviewed a bunch of people, took a survey, and basically they said that, like a third of them were saying like manners are like optional at this point. Like they're not a natural <laughs> thing that comes in. This one's an interesting one. Is what is your take on people being on their phone when they're with their friends? Is that crossing an impolite barrier? We're all looking at Mesa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I text a lot, but I'm still in the conversation. <laughs> How often, like, are we talking to me? Uh, you're talking to me, and I, I'm completely ignore you. Not very often. <laughs> He's hmm. gonna say differently. <laughs> <laughs> what? I what's what's funny, right? This I was telling Navy before we got here. Okay. Right. So we hadn't seen Mesa in like I don't know two, three months. Okay. And this was our first time seeing him. We get there and we're like, all right, man. And I look over, hey, buddy, what are you? and he's like looking down on his phone. I'm like, oh my god, like we haven't seen you like three months. I answered a text. The text took five seconds. <laughs> Devin. Uh, I think if you're not in it, like if you're if you're having a conversation with your friends, be in the conversation, just put the phone down for a second. And then if there's like a break or everyone's just quiet, get your phone. Answer your text real quick. You know, you're, you know, you're with your friends. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm not perfect. You see me do it, but I mean I mean I miss you, buddy. Bitch, I haven't seen you two months. And then you're on your phone. And for visual representation, guys, Mace is rolling his eyes. That's how little he cares about us. 100%. <laughs> because you're, you're making it seem way worse than what it is. Like it's very, it's very, very rare that you've asked me a question and I've never like been like, oh, hey, can you repeat the question? Because I wasn't listening. And I don't I'm think- listening to you. And I might be looking down at my phone texting, but I'm completely in the conversation. I'm listening and I'm talking. And I don't think that's the point, though, is that I don't think you're ignoring me. That would be blatantly rude. Right. I would just not come over. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's, the, it's the, like, I don't think not saying please is, is rude either. Right. But there is that, that extra, like, I guess, respect. I guess you would give someone by saying please, by shaking their hand. Not shaking my hand. I'm not going to walk away being like, oh, man, you're just rude. Mm-hmm. But yeah. there is that extra respect I think you'd give somebody by giving them your full attention rather than, I guess, trying to divide it. I don't know. That's my I thought. stuck up for you and I was like, well, think about it. We're all here. We're all friends and like we hang out so much. We're texting each other, but he was texting somebody else. We normally text mm. each other. So I was like, there you yeah. go. Yeah. And my yeah. excuse is I have mm. children, so that I got to stay on phone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is your thoughts on texting with people? Uh, I don't know. She made a good she made the she makes a good point as right. far as like if you're with people that you hang out mostly you're not going to text anyone because that's usually who you're texting. Um, I don't find myself really texting. I don't, it's weird. It's like two sides to yeah. it. Yeah. You know? I, don't I guess it's the, how, how much you do it within that time period, maybe too. Yeah, because like if like Jesus is here yeah. and Bree's home, yeah. they're gonna text back and right. forth. Yeah, That's no, I agree that there's there's a double thing. Right. Like there's an overdoing it where every time I look up, you're on your phone. Yeah. To like you know you're you're having a conversation with someone in between. And what's funny is with this, it, it says that forty seven percent of people don't think it's a a wrong thing anymore. That yeah, it's, it's, that yeah. it's not a big deal. I guess it's the whole multitasking thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it just kind of feels like. Whenever you're just with a group of friends and one person is texting, it's kind of like, okay, you kind of feel like you don't want to talk. All right, mm-hmm. so I'll just sit here. I think that's what it is, but we understand, Mason. You're not trying to, <laughs> this. you know, like I'm not trying, you know, it's not, you know, we, you understand you're texting, but kind of feel like, man, mm-hmm. hey, buddy, are you there? <laughs> but, you know, I think that's what it is. They are over exaggerating. They are over exaggerating 100%. <laughs> Why like, don't we both team up just to over exaggerate? <laughs> well, because it's like really quick. Like she, what's we're funny though? Games. Yeah, and it, it takes two seconds, and I'm in the conversation. What's funny I'm though? Never... She says that now, but she was with me the other day when we were talking about it when we first brought up why she's changed sides now. I don't know. But remember, I stuck up. I was like, "Hey, it's harder because we're all here. We text around each other, but you know." But then he I made the point. I was like, "But he sees them other people all the time. He hadn't mm. seen us in three months." And that's when we're like, "Oh well, I get it. I well, guess what was so." I, seen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we were texting. He's all, he's all tell me we were texting. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> that's my point. Mesa does have. Do you still have the wallet, uh, phone case, like the flip yeah, case? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like he's always had that. Flip, like you always uh, have a flip yeah. case. I feel like once he flips it closed, like, all right, cool. Like, it's serious, you know? Mace is back. Yeah. 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 Hold on, time out. <laughs> See, Jesus even knows, like, your case. So, you can't say we're all over-exaggerating when it's four people. I don't Because I have a phone case? Like, how is that? <laughs> what is that going to do with anything? Saying excuse me. Do you say excuse me to people? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, well, so they can, like, if they're in your way, excuse mm-hmm. me. Please. Are you trying to get someone's attention? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do, too. That's pretty. And what's crazy, is it, it basically says, out of the... 10 people, I guess, they asked about this. Only three of them said that they would say excuse me. 
What do they do? I don't know. Get out of my way. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or watch out. Yeah. Or if you're trying to get through or something. Yeah. I, I only usually say it when I'm trying to get through somewhere and someone's in. Like you're like in the store in the aisle and you're yeah, just like, like excuse me. Like, yeah, that's what I say too. <laughs> and it's crazy. So like basically they went through and they asked, you know, the people who who said stuff like this wasn't a big deal anymore, right? The people who were on the other side and they basically said, uh, to sum it up, like they didn't really care so much about the other person's reactions, right? They didn't care whether mm-hmm. it hurt them or not. Mm-hmm. They didn't care. Like it's like, you know, my priorities over yours kind of deal. Or it was the time it takes me to be polite, I could get it done quicker if I'm not being mm-hmm. polite. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the two mentalities of people who are on the other side to be able to kind of just rush it through. Mm-hmm. So I guess with maybe like times of us becoming, you know, just a faster people, right? Like mm-hmm. we want we want things mm-hmm. done kind of fast and to the point and, to, and quickly that we bypass these other little things that happen in between. Kind of like when we went to New York and everyone was just on the go. They were just, they weren't worried about anything. They were just really worried about what they were doing. So they... They weren't rude. Like I like right. New York. No, they weren't worried, one, but they, you know, that one, he's like, yeah, look, you guys follow me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that guy yeah. helps us out. But yeah. and I think I think that's where this conversation. Like, but I'm, I'm not necessarily saying everybody's rude, but they're going that extra mile. There's yeah, a, like I even say when we were in Cleveland, like they weren't necessarily rude. They just there wasn't that like like hospitality like you know that you mm-hmm. kind of accustomed to I guess being around here that was just natural yeah. when you go places like there's places we've gone to eat that you know we go because of the service just how like nice and polite and yeah. like you know their service particularly is that it will go there a little bit more than we would go elsewhere. Yeah. There's some people like do you ever meet some people just out and about and say hey how you doing sir or just. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm doing good. And I just feel like, that's kind of nice. Yeah, like the people, yeah. Or the people when you're driving and they say hi to you? Yeah, well, yeah. it's funny because Brie, um, she's gotten like the whole Texan thing. You're driving and you go like that. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She only does it to cops, though. But <laughs> <laughs> like, you may pull me over when you say hi. Our neighborhood, yeah. a lot of cops live uh-huh. there. And, you know, they're going through the streets. And she's always like, and they usually do say that. But to be fair, when I am driving in a neighborhood and I do it to someone that's not a cop, they don't do it Oh, yeah. yeah. That's and, like, then, and then it's like, you know what? He's like, I'll take that back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How dare you not say hi? Yeah, that's funny too, because that just happened the other day. Remember that guy drove back and he like waved and I waved too, and she was like, Who are you? And I like, you waved at me. I'll wave back. Or like the, the nod, like when you look uh-huh. at somebody like I had, oh, to ex- yeah. I had to explain that to Nay. Like, as a guy, like there's a there's a down nod when you don't know the person, and then there's like the up nod when you know the person. You mm-hmm. can't get those mixed up because then it can Like, cost if you trouble. go up and you don't know them, they give you like a weird look. Like, yeah, like, mm-hmm. What are you? It's like what? a challenge. Mm-hmm. Like you're lying. Like the down one is like. Yeah, I didn't uh, get that. I the would, down is like the sign of respect. I did not like, yeah. know that. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. Every time like I go walk the walk the mountain, there's people who are walking. They just go like, they give me a little head now. They hey, or they yep. give a little wave when people are driving out. They wave, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I feel good today. Thank you. <laughs> that was She's just like, so I just nice. Made three friends. I know. <laughs> but yeah, it's just going that extra mile. Just kind of just friends, my day. You know, that is very interesting, though, in the future of, you know, if we're still going to do that. Uh-huh. For, what dies out? If it's we talked about the handshake thing and like things that like, please, like when I read mm-hmm. that, I thought, oh, man, like I had to double take my pleases. Like, so it is going to be interesting to see. Like, because um, that was a form of like saying what's up. And now it's like the dab, like, you know, you uh-huh. handshake yep. people, like yeah. dab them up. And are we still, I mean, I've, I see ourselves doing it if, even if we're older, you know, instead of the whole handshake. Oh, thing. yeah. 